Anchors up, sells it full. Welcome to the Sloopcast. How are you doing today, Kyle? Doing all right, Jared. Doing all right. How are you doing? Uh, it, it won't stop raining. It won't stop raining. Uh, but that's enough weather talk for today. Uh, it's a new tradition, but it's a good tradition. There's, there's the beer. What are we doing today, Kyle? Spring camp is almost over. We have just one week left and we are going to do something different. We're going to do something different. We're going to go ahead and do a a draft, a draft for the Scarlet and Gray game. So we are we're going to take the roster. Uh, we do this every year, though, do we not? Maybe we do. It's been a while. But we have some new <laughs> um, rules this year. We do. Yeah. So we're going to we're going to go ahead and each draft players to our team here the but yeah as jared said we we do have some rules here we do have some rules so we won't waste too much time just because a lot of picks a lot a lot of players we have to name here so we each have to pick 10 players on offense 10 players on defense and then we'll have four players extra on the offense and four extra on the defensive side here yeah we have we have uh locked in positions let me let me switch cameras Um, we have locked in positions and hold on. This is slightly off on, there we go. That's better. Um, we've locked in positions on offense. We each have to pick a quarterback, a running back, a tight end, a wide receiver, a wide receiver, two tackles, two guards, and a center. That's only 10 as Kyle pointed out. Uh, but we do also, Oh, I have the wrong thing. I have the wrong branding on this screen. Oh, I am a mess today. I am sorry, everyone. <clears throat> um, do do. Uh, yeah. And then on the defensive side, Kyle, why don't you go ahead while I fix this screen? Go ahead and tell everyone what our requirements are on the defensive yeah. side. Defensive side, we have uh one defensive tackle. Yes, just one. Two defense two defensive ends, two linebackers, two corners, two safeties, and a nickel back. Obviously, there's a lot of a lot of wiggle room you can do. You can add another defensive tackle. You could add one, two linebackers. A lot, lot of you can do here. Yeah. As Jared's still playing playing around with the <laughs> the image here. I it was anyway, it doesn't matter. No, no one cares. Um, we're good. It was, it was being stupid. I was going to explain why, but no one cares. Um, so yeah, there's flexibility, I, I guess is the point. That's why there's only 10 required spots. We're, we're adding some flexibility, some rotation in, and we'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah. All right, Kyle. All right, you, let's, let's not waste any more time. Well, we, we there, get, there is, get... there is one more rule we need to talk about. Kyle oh, and I yes. have each reserved three players. Kyle and I uh, need we the, the the we don't know who each other's three players are. If let's say Kyle reserves, uh, and let's just let's pick Marvin Harrison Jr. just just to not tip any hats. Let's say Kyle, let's say Kyle picks Marvin Harrison Jr. and I go, uh, uh-uh, Kyle, he's on my reserve player list. Then I get Marvin Harrison Jr. and that's Kyle's turn. That's the end of Kyle's yep. turn. Now, you might be asking yourself, well, Jared, what happens if Kyle also has Marvin Harrison Jr. on his reserve list? That player is now off the board. And we each have three of those players for the entire team. All right, with those rules, let's let's jump right into it, Jared. Well, actually, actually, let's. We got to figure out who goes first, though, right? Yeah. You want to flip a coin? I am going to flip a coin. Um, I'm just doing it digitally here. You're just going to have to trust that I'm <laughs> that I'm being honest here, Jared. I, well, we were also trusting each other on our three player list, too. So, you know, that's true. Yep. All right. You got heads or tails? I'll take heads. Flip. And it is it is heads. Hmm. Interesting. Kyle. 
All right. I'm just kidding. Uh, go ahead and take your first pick. Um. Oh, well, aren't you, aren't you going first? You're, you're the one that oh. you picked heads. You oh, picked I thought heads, you said so. tails. Okay, I'm picking first. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I'm picking first. I am picking first. I am picking Josh Simmons, left tackle. <laughs> no, you don't. He goes to me. Well, I guess he goes I to actually neither. Have him. I guess he goes to neither of oh, us. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. We're, we're hitting that off right from the start. <laughs> All right. Well, since we both had him on our list, uh, that means, you go next. Uh, that means yeah, I, he's, off, uh, he's off the board. That, he's still my turn then. I'm going uh, Luke is. Montgomery. All right. All right. Fair enough. So Oops, that's with you. My, You're on top. All right, with mine, I'm going with oh, I'll go with Mick Lawson. I'll go okay. with Seth for my Seth for my center. With Kyle's first pick, I will now be picking Donovan Jackson. Nope. I have him on my list here. Okay, well, then neither of us get Donovan Jackson. <laughs> oh, jeez. We had very right. similar priorities coming into this, we Kyle. Did. We did, didn't we? We we know where the team's not deep, and we're taking the best players off the board <laughs> for neither of us. As a matter of fact, we know where the team isn't deep. Uh, All right, who do you got then, Jared? Well. I guess at that point I will go with Josh Fryer. Nope. I have him on my list too. Okay. He wasn't on my list. <laughs> <All right. laughs> he, he wasn't on my list. <laughs> All right. So I guess you get him and you get to pick. Yes. All right. I am going. I'm just, I'm just marking stuff down here as I'm going along here. Uh, so Josh Fryer's on here. Perfect. Perfect. So I have, um, I'm going to go out kind of out of left field here a little bit. Okay. Actually, no, let me, let me go with Tegra. I'm going to go with Tegra. Tegra's a good pick. Yeah. Man, we, we are out of that, tackles. That's, 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 yeah, that's my tackles right there. That's, that, that's my, well, my big worry there were the tackles. Yeah. Uh, and, and with good, and with good reason. Uh, I guess I'll go with. I uh, I guess I'll go George Fitzpatrick uh, at another tackle. Okay. All right. Uh, I am going to go. I'm going to go with uh, Austin. I'm going to go with Austin Surveil as Surveilled my guard. As a guard. Yep. How many of how many? I've used two of mine. You've used two of yours of the reserves, right? I've used all three, actually. Oh, 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 of the reserves? Oh, of our of our three picks. Of our, our three, three reserved sides. picks. No, I already used all three of mine. Simmons, Fryer, and Jackson. Oh, that's right. I forgot about <laughs> Yeah, okay. Yeah. We we so we both have. No, yeah, no, you know, you stole Fryer. That's right. You, you, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. You I have, got you it. You have I got one it. more. I, I do have one more. You I, have I, one more. I'll let you know right now. They're on the defense. <laughs> All right. Just Fair as enough. a hint. All, All right, right. So you picked. Um, you picked Sarah Veld. Now it's my turn. Yep. Uh, I will. Make a jump over to the defensive side where I will be taking Ty Leak Williams. You'll be taking Ty Leak. It's not bad, not bad. Well, I'm going to pick, I'm going to pick the shiny. I'm going to pick, um, hmm. <laughs> lots, lots of lots of ways you can go here. You've already tipped your hat, Kyle. <laughs> I almost wanted to do the, yeah, might, might as well. Let me, let me take the shiny freshman, Jared. The guy who's been in the news every day here, JJ. Yeah. And by the way, like the shiny freshman rule, which is, you know, we all just get 
overly excited about the new shiny freshmen because they're new on the team. Uh, th- th- this does not apply to Jeremiah Smith, in my opinion. Yeah. All right. You're up. I am up. Uh, I am going to go with. Carson Hinsman at center. Yep. Uh, those are, those are your two, your two centers there. Honestly, Jared, if it was me, I would have just held on to Hinsman because I can't pick a center. <laughs> it, well, it just shows you're a nicer person than me. Because if I were you, I would have picked Hinsman to play guard just to screw me over. Gotcha. <laughs> right. Well, I'm going to pick, I'm going to pick, I'm going to finish up my, my offensive line and I'll pick, um, Oh, I'm just Wait. looking through the roster here. I mean, you you can looking look at you roster. can look at my shared screen. Yep. Yeah. No, I'm 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 going to pick Vimahi. I'll pick Vimahi for yeah. my for my last guard. There, there's there's my offensive line there. Yeah. There's your offensive line. <laughs> and there's the guys who are left. All right. Uh, let's see. I'm going to go uh, with Denzel Burke. All right. All right. So for let's see, defense, defense or offense here. You know, just to make it just to make it strong here, I'm going to go. I'm going to go with EE. E. I'm going to go with EE e. for my uh for my wide receiver here. Okay, Mecca Abuka off the board. No, Kyle, those are your two wide receivers. However, mm-hmm. just to remind everyone who is listening or watching, you can take four more wide receivers if you want to. You have four open offensive okay. slots. You you okay. could also take another offensive lineman just to be a real dick if you wanted to. Um, I could. You could. But just those are your two wide receivers, but you can take a third or a fourth if you want to. I could. I could. My turn. Yes, sir. My turn. Um, I am going. Are we playing with injuries on? Oh, uh, that's a good question. Are, that, are we ignoring I've... injuries or acknowledging injuries is, is what I'm asking. Let's do, let's do with, I don't know, what, 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 what's your, what's your thought? I'm, heads, I'm fine heads, either way. He, he, flip the coin again. Heads is we are acknowledging injuries. Tails is we are not acknowledging injuries. And it is heads again. So we are acknowledging injuries. We are acknowledging injuries. Okay. Yep. Well, then I am going to take. David Igbenosen. Igbenosen. Going, going strong with the, with the corners down here. Down the corners. All right. Well, I'm going to lock, I'm going to lock down more of my offense side here and give me Trey Hundo. Give me Trey Hundo. Picking up Trey Henderson. I'm going to go ahead and pick up Judkins then Mm -hmm. just to be sure. Cause once again, Kyle took his running back, but he can take a second running back if he wants to. I really want to. Yeah. Um, I will for my next pick, just to make it look like a, just an offensive juggernaut here. Okay. I'm going to take, I'm going to take uh Carnell Tate. As my third wide receiver. You son of a bitch. I'm going to call your bluff and not take a wide receiver <laughs> in, in retaliation. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a load. You know what? You want to load that down? I'm going to, I'm going to run over here and I'm going to load it down on the defensive side. Um, I'm going to go ahead and grab Jack Sawyer. 
a defensive end. All right. That's fine. I'm going to going to take someone here that can play all over the field here and I'm actually I'll probably put him in my um um actually no. I, I'll keep him there. Uh linebacker Sony Styles. Linebacker Sonny Styles for Kyle. All right, if we're going to start playing the linebacker game, I'm going to go ahead and grab CJ Hicks. And I'll take my other linebacker then, Jared, and I'll pick Cody Simon. That's a good pick. Okay. Uh, I am going to make sure I have my secondary on lock. I'm going to grab Jordan Hancock <laughs> at my nickel back position. All right. I need to make, I need to make sure I get, um, get someone good on the, on the line here and give, give me to him I'll take JT to him Uh, I'm going to add Caden Curry as my second ooh, 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 defensive end. Oh, I got worried there. Oh, I got worried. Okay. <laughs> Give me Hamilton. Oh, yeah. I, I really could have screwed you there. I probably should have. <laughs> I'll take Hamilton there. Oof. I think our defensive Ooh. tackles are pretty deep. I think Tywin Malone, Hero. Uh, yeah. There's been a lot of positive buzz for Caden McDonald and Jason Moore. I don't think you can go too wrong at defensive tackle, honestly. But yeah, smart, smart maneuver regardless. Um, I better... Let's see. Ryan Day said Brandon Ennis's injury was temporary, so I'm not going to let that worry me too much. I'm going to go ahead and add Brandon Ennis to my wide receiver squad. I'm going to pick the the known name from the uh, from the tight ends here. Give me double eight G Scott. Double eight G Scott. Okay. I'm going to grab Bryson Rogers, another guy who's had a tremendous we, camp so far. He has. He has, yes. Your turn. Oh, let's see. Neither must have taken a quarterback, by the way. I, I was actually just thinking that we're how many picks in, and a quarterback has not been picked. In my opinion, we, we both see here, here's here's my assessment of what's happening. Actually, before I give my assessment of what's happening, I'm going to go ahead and cut to a commercial break. Uh, if you want to avoid these commercials, you can go uh, to patreon.thesloopcast.com, pay three dollars a month and uh, get to avoid these commercials. You get early access to episodes. You can join our discord server and listen to uh, us record these live and comment as we record these live. Um, you can do all that for just $3 a month. Uh, the, uh, access to the discord, by the way, is free discord.thesloopcast.com. Uh, but in order to listen to the live episodes, you do have to be a premium member, which is where the, uh, Patreon, uh, comes into play, but you can do all that for $3 a month or $32 a year over at patreon.thesloopcast.com. Here is that commercial break now. Okay, Kyle. Here, here's I think what's happening with the quarterback. I think that we both see Howard and Brown as somewhat equals. And I think that we're both Maybe. calling each other's bluffs that the other one isn't going to take both of them <laughs> with Maybe. one of those open spots. Maybe. Is, is that is that Possibly. is that an accurate assessment of what's happening right now? Possibly. But I'm not going that way. I'm going to go to the defensive side, Jared. Okay. I'm going to go to the defensive side. And I'm going to pick I'm going to pick the transfer. Give me downs. Block. 
That's my reserve. I should, I should, I should, I should have expected that one. <laughs> yeah, the, the fact that he's still out there, the fact that I've been adding yeah. secondary people and I just haven't taken Caleb Downs. Yeah. Yeah. As soon as I said, I'm like, wait, all yeah, right. Ransom's injured. So I don't know if he's really even technically on the board. So with uh, Caleb Downs now off, yep. I'm going to go ahead and add Malik Hartford. Yep. All right. I will go ahead and pick. Give me Jane Bounds, uh, Bonsu. Jaden Bonsu. He has been getting a lot of reps this camp. Safety. Um, yep. At safety. Yep. Um, with uh, with Ransom not getting a lot of reps. Also getting a lot of reps right yep. now is Inky Jones, a walk-on from Steubenville, Ohio. Um, mm-hmm. Another guy getting a lot of reps. Yep. All right. All right. I'm going to finish Jared. out my starting 10 uh, for defense, or at least my required 10. Um, yep. and add Gabe Powers. All right. Stay on the defensive side, Jared. I'll take my first uh, corner. I'll take uh, Jermaine Matthews Jr. He's had a pretty good yep. um, spring camp so far. Absolutely. Okay. Um. Looking over things on the defensive side, uh, I'm going to go ahead and add um, a third defensive end in Kenyatta Jackson. Okay. Into one of my open spots. Mm -hmm. And I'll go ahead and take, uh, I'll take Styles. I take the other styles Senior for styles. the nickelback. Yep, uh, for the nickelback. Uh, for the nickel, you still you only have one corner. I know that's fine. Okay. Corner is a very deep position. Um, mm-hmm. Still, some very very talented players out there. I think you are getting down to the point where you're no longer getting much experience at corner, but still uh, Aaron some, Scott's some having talent. a great camp. Calvin Simpson hunts having a great camp. Um, so yeah, lots of lots of talented players left. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and add another guy having a great camp right now. Uh, my second defensive tackle, Caden McDonald. All right. I'm actually going to go ahead and take on one of the guys you you were just naming, uh, Simpson Hunt, for my for my second corner. Yep. All right. I'm gonna add a second running back and add Dallin Hayden. Back pick. Hayden as your second running back. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Oh, let's see. Where where can I go? Where so I still Okay, I'm just looking at who you have here. Actually, I'm gonna add I'm gonna add one more receiver to this group here, Jared. All right. I'm gonna add one more receiver. I'm gonna add um what about Jaden Ballard? Jaden Ballard. Kyle, this is a wide receiver. This is a, this is a stellar wide receiver group. The fact that you can act, hold on, just, just for. Kyle has picked Jeremiah Smith, Emeka Buka, Carnell Tate, and Jaden Ballard. <laughs> who can, who can probably, you can see on the field at once sometime this season. 100%. But the, the fact that I also have two wide receivers who are excellent on my team. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm just, just how, I'm just taking a moment to appreciate how insanely deep the wide receiver core is at Ohio State right now. I said this in the Discord this week, and I mean it. Offensive line aside, 
offensive line aside, the second stri- so this the the second stream Ohio State team would have a not a great offensive line. Acknowledged, acknowledged. Outside of that, the second string of Ohio State's squad could compete for the Big Ten. And I don't even feel like that's a hot take, especially if you, yeah. you know, gifted them some offensive linemen from somewhere. Yep. All right. Uh, you know what you should do, my, Jared? You know what you should do right here? What's that? You should just pick the Armstrong twins for your guards. I mean, I might. <laughs> I, unfortunately, despite the fact that they're twins, they are separate people and I can't draft them simultaneously. <laughs> All the shame. All right. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and fill in my tight end position. I'm going to bring in the Bobcat mm-hmm. transfer. Will kick Merrick. Yep. That, that's a good one. Listen, that's a good one. All right. You, you got all the wide receivers. I'm going to get the blocking tight end. I got two running backs. Uh, I, you're not. Kyle, I'm just going to tell you right now. You're not moving the ball against my team. I don't know. I. My, my next pick here, it's kind of funny you were talking about moving the ball and all that. My next person, uh, arguably, has been having a really good spring camp so far as a true freshman. For my second running back, I'm going to pick Peoples, James Peoples. Another guy having an amazing camp right now. And by the way, do not sleep on TC Caffey, who is no, a new no. walk who, on. Who's a walk on? Who's doing really well? Where, doing really, really. Where well. is he? Is he from Dublin? I feel like he's from the Central Ohio area. I forget, uh, but he's having a great camp right now. TC Caffey. Um, he is from. Wow, well, I got. I have to. While you look that up, I'm going to go ahead you go, you go. and add Joshua Padilla uh, at guard. Yep. Hubbard. Hubbard. Jared. Hubbard? What city Hubbard is that? Hubbard High School. Oh, okay. Hubbard, Ohio. <laughs> okay. I thought he was... All right. Never mind. All right. So Padilla is off the board for Jared's offensive line here. So I'm going to go defense here. What, what do we got left on the defense here? So, <laughs> so I have a safety. It's, a, it's actually a, insane how many talented players are still left when I have my starting 10 plus two. Ooh, I, th- I think the, I think the issue I have here is I think all the, all the ones that would like on the defensive end has been picked. I did get, I did, do you have JT? You do, do have, you have JT too, Milau. Yeah, no, I I screwed uh, you with that Kenyatta Jackson pick. You did. Yeah, you did on purpose. <laughs> um, yeah. I think I think I'm gonna go with. It's gonna be my. Uh, I'm gonna go with the second defensive tackle here. Yeah. I'm gonna go yeah. with Hero Kanyu. Yeah. You, uh, you're a lot deeper at defensive tackle, so I think that's a smart move. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add a third linebacker. Having Another guy having a great camp right now is Averill Reese. Yep, it's a good one. That's a good one there. Oh, let's see. So defensive end and safety, I still have to I still have to pick here. Who do I have on my list here? You have uh, Joshua Mickens, uh, Edric Houston at defensive end. Um, safety, I think we're I think we're not picking ransom because he's hurt. Um, yep. You have Jihad Carter, Inky Jones, a walk on from Steubenville, and a pair of. Uh, Freshman in Cedric Hawkins and Jalen McLean. I think what I'm going to do here. I think I'm going to go ahead and go with. Uh, 
I'll go with Cedric Hawkins Cedric as my second safety. Hawkins at safety. I'll be honest, I, I feel like you should have taken Carter. That's fine. That's fine. You can pick him, though. <laughs> uh, Well, I mean, I already have <laughs> tailed downs in Malik Hartford. <laughs> I feel like I'm fine at safety. Thank you very much. Along, right. along with Denzel Burke, David Igbenosin, and Jordan Hancock. Uh, I, I, I'm fine. Thanks. All right. Um... I'm going to struggle a bit blocking. That's for sure. Um, so I'm going to take the more mobile, more durable option at quarterback and take Will Howard. Okay. All right. I am. I'm going to go with it. I'm going to go with a true freshman here, Jared. Okay. On the defensive side. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna gonna take a swing to the fences here. Give me the kid out of uh Buf Buford, Georgia here. I already Edger Houston. Yeah, I was, I was I already had him. <laughs> I already had him <laughs> lined up for you. You the second you said defense true freshman, I'm like, well, here goes Edger Houston. Uh yep. no dis I think Aaron, Aaron Scott's another guy who's had an had an absolutely amazing camp, but I, I knew where the hole was in your defense. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, your turn, Jared. All right. Um, go ahead and finish out my offensive line and add uh, Zen Mikowski. All right. And give me... Give me the trips. Give me the, give me three, three. Give me Devin Brown for my quarterback. I, I almost did it just to screw you. <laughs> and then I'm like, you know what? I'm going to finish my offensive line. And if he doesn't take Devin Brown this time, I am, I was going to, I was going to screw you next round if you didn't do it. <laughs> All right. I need a third wide receiver. Uh, Kojo, how hurt? Ko Antwi's hurt, right? But how how badly do we know that? Antwi's hurt. Um, I don't know how much he's hurt, but I don't. I I just, feel like he's probably not going to be. He's he's not going to be here in the playing in the spring game. So I'll, that's I'll, why I'll another reason Grace. why I didn't pick Antwi. I'll take Gray's then. Okay. Listen, they gave Gray's the number seven. Like he's got to be good. You don't give number yeah. seven to someone who isn't good. I know it just it's just hard. It's hard to be a wide receiver at Ohio State right now. That's reality of the situation. Oh, all right. So I pretty much have. I, well, I, I think both sides. We we both have our our starting ten for each side on the we offensive do. defensive side. We we do. All right. So we're 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 in wide open territory now. We are. And if anyone's wondering, no, we are we aren't picking punters or kickers. Oh, because I had a I had a f I had a f I had one I was gonna I was gonna pick. Hey, if you want for... to go ahead, but I am gonna have to type it and I'm gonna be mad at you for having to type something. <laughs> All right. Uh so I'm just looking who's left here. So you got Will Smith Jr., who's who just got his black stripe removed recently. And I'll tell you this, uh, Kyle, with you having a bit of a situation along the defensive line, Smith Jr. can play three tech defensive tackle or strong defensive end. Uh, he might bring some versatility for you. He could. He could. I am thinking... Let's see. You got yep. You picked him there. So I'm, I'm wasting a lot of time here. I apologize. <laughs> it's getting down um, to the nitty and you know, the gritty. 
We're in the nitty you know, and gritty territory. You know, let me let me go ahead and pull in um Carter. I'll, I'll pull in uh, Jihad Carter. Yeah, as well. Yeah, I mean, if you don't have the star power at safety that I have, the absolute mm-hmm. immense star power at safety that I have, uh, then sometimes you just get you know you you need to do some rotational work, and I think that's I think that's what you're doing. All right. All right. It's just it's just a crime that Tywin Malone hasn't been picked yet. That's. I yeah I kind of had it. I kind of had him as a possible as well. So I'm just going to pick Tywin Malone as my final defensive pick. All Your right. turn, Kyle. Uh, you have two defensive spots left and one offensive spot left. You know I'm going to go ahead and pick. I'm going to pick Aaron Noland. I'll pick Aaron Noland as my last offense. Fun pick. I like it. Uh, I need. I do need some receiving help still. So uh, I'm going to grab Julian Thurman at tight end. You know, we might run some double tight ends. Might might assist us in some blocking uh, issues that we'll probably be having on this team. Um, we're in some double tight ends. We'll have one receiver, one blocking tight end. I feel pretty good about the uh, kick Merrick Thurman combo. Right. So all I can pick, I have two picks left, both on the defensive side here. Yes, sir. You know, you convinced me. I'll I'll pick pick um I'll pick Smith Jr. Yeah, I mean, a good versatility up front. Absolutely. All right, Kyle, we're down to two more picks. It's coming down to the nitties, coming down to the gritties. But if you want to find out uh, who those two picks are, you're going to have to wait a second because we have an ad break. Uh, Just a reminder, uh, Patreon, all that. We already did that. Patreon.thesloopcast.com for all of your uh, Sloopcast needs. All of your Sloopcast needs. Um, early access to episode. Oh, we already did this. You you know what I'm talking about. You know what it is. Um, so head on over to patreon.thesloopcast.com. And if you're like, Jared, I'm not going to donate podcast stuff to you. That's fine. Um, if you, if you, then there's another way you can support us. You can support us by going to 7071.thesloopcast.com and buying a t-shirt. Or you can go to uh, merch dot the sloopcast.com and buy some uh sloopcast merch uh at merch dot the sloopcast.com you will find um ohio state adjacent but not ohio state merch uh legally speaking but it's a lot of sloopcast merch and if you want stuff that you want to support us but you don't want to buy stuff that is uh specifically you know, looks like podcast merch. You just want some stuff that's just generally like cool Ohio merch. You can go to 7071.thesloopcast.com. Uh, here's that ad break now. Okay, Kyle, two more picks. All right, two. Well, I got one more. Well, I got one, one each. Pick. It's one each. Yeah. All right, so defensive side here. Well, Who do we have me. left? It's my, it's my turn. Oh, and it's your turn. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, a lot, a lot of options. A lot of options. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add Sam Williams Dixon. Um, and the reason why I pick yep. him of all the available players is once again I might need some uh playmaking help, some wide receiving help, and I think Dixon is a good tweener player uh good a good pass catcher just an overall athlete so if i'm looking for a bit of pass catching assistance uh he's a great threat out of the backfield and heck maybe even lines up in the slot if you need him to sam william dixon sam williams dixon yep all right last pick here is on the defensive side who do we got left jared Let's see. There's a lot of there's a lot of freshmen. Um, 
Court Williams is having a really good camp, as is Mitchell Melton. Um, uh, two veteran players who've not been able to get on the field due to some injury issues. Um, you have some insanely talented freshmen. Aaron Scott's having a great camp. Bryce West is having a great camp. Um, Jason Moore is getting a lot of hype right now. Inky Jones, once again, a uh, walk-on who's been getting a lot of play right now uh, at safety uh, due to some injuries at the safety position. He's making the most of his opportunities. Um, Joshua Mickens is another young guy having a good camp. Um, some young linebacker talent, Nigel Glover, Peyton Pierce, Garrett Stover. Lots, a lot of good options left on defense. Yeah. You know, I'm going to, I'm going to go similar to the one pick I had with Houston, a, a very high, highly touted uh, prospect coming into Ohio state. I'm going to go with someone Do it. who's highly touted as well. Do it. I know who I would pick. I'm going to go to the I'm going to go out. I'm going to go with the kid out of Springfield, Ohio here. That is Aaron Scott Jr. The, do you see who I already have highlighted? <laughs> I was between him or Bryce West. I uh, I mean um Glenville, Glenville or Springfield, which which one? <laughs> yeah. Uh two I I mean I think they both have a bright future at Ohio State right now. Uh one one of the night I heard a report out of out of camp that basically said, I think, I think this was out of the um, uh, student appreciation scrimmage or maybe, maybe it wasn't, but I heard, I heard one of the, one of the guys over at Buckeye Huddle essentially say uh, Aaron Scott it was lined up against uh, JJ and was mm-hmm. holding his own. And I don't know if there's a better compliment. Now, that could be now when he, now, when he said holding his own, was that like literally holding no, on to JJ? No, no. Uh, just that he was he was competing. He was competing yeah. and competing well. Gotcha. All right. Let's go ahead and review here because I know well, a I lot have of people one. listening to. Oh, wait. Or no, yeah. I don't. No, I don't. Never mind. No, you don't. No, I don't. All right. Let's. I want to I go ahead and review. Uh, for the listeners yeah. who don't have the visual yep, aid. For the, for the listeners who haven't, uh, who didn't get a chance to to visually see who who you picked here so we'll start with uh for team kyle here the gray i have my start team gray i i'm I'm fine i'm fine with that that the hat goes with it uh my starting quarterback is devin brown starting running back is trey henderson i have g scott as my tight end my wide receivers are jeremiah smith Emeka Buka. Also add in there Carnell Tate and Jaden Jaden Ballard as well. And my offensive line is Fryer, uh, Austin Searveld, McLaughlin, uh, Vamahi, and uh, Tegra. Chabola. And then also on the on my backups here, I have James Peoples backing up Trey. And then Aaron Nolan backing up Devin Brown too. I love Devin Brown. And I uh, hope that his 2023 goes better than his 2024. But if it doesn't, you're going to need a backup quarterback. Um, Devin Brown, I think. You mean backwards, his 2024 is better than his 2023. If that's not what I said, that's what I meant to say. Yeah. Yeah, it wasn't. <laughs> okay. Well, the the smart, I said it, I, I meant to say it the smart way. Um, All right. I just, you know, he got injured twice in 2023. And if he, you know, if he doesn't get injured, doesn't get injured last spring, Ohio State's 2023 could have looked entirely different. Um, And then we also had happened in the in the bowl game. Yeah. Uh, my offense right. and, is yep. Will Howard at quarterback. I got Quinshawn Judkins at running back. Uh, I have Dallin Hayden backing him up at running back. I also have Sam William Dixon as a third running back slash flex option. I guess you could call him Um, the uh, tight end. I have the transfer out of Ohio, Will Kick Merrick. 
um, and back uh, as he's going to be my blocking tight end. And then my uh, more receiving tight end will be uh, uh, Jalen Thurman. My wide receivers, because Kyle went ape shit on the wide receivers. Um, not quite as impressive, but man, Brandon Ennis and Bryson Rogers are still my starting wide receivers, which is insane in my opinion. My third wide receiver being Kion Grays. Um, Kyle and I really screwed each other at offensive line by reserving the offensive linemen and taking uh, two of our best options completely off the board. <laughs> uh, J- Josh Simmons and, and Jackson, uh, due to our weird rule stipulation, were unfortunately unpickable during during this process so my uh, tackles are luke montgomery and george fitzpatrick my guards are joshua P- padilla and zen mikowski and my starting center is carson hinsman on the defensive side of the ball kyle who do you have actually I real have... quick back, back on the offense kyle B- because we yeah. had 10 guys mm-hmm What's your offensive formation going to be like most of the time? Who is your 11th guy? If you're four of your four people, who's your 11th guy? It's it's Tate. I'm yeah, going, I'm going is, three wide here. Yeah, your your <laughs> your your uh, your options pretty. Yeah, I, I would say so, too. I think I think my 11th guy will be Thurman. I think I'm going to do a lot of two tight ends. Uh, I think Thurman is as good as having a wide receiver on the field. So I think I'm going to go with a two tight end to sort of make up for my offensive line um, and really to give Hayden and Judkins a chance to run the ball with a great efficiency. Mm. All right, Kyle, defensive side, who do you have? Defensive side, I have Ty Hamilton and uh, and Kanye as my Defensive tackles. Now, would you say Kanye is going to be your starting 11th? Um, I would say so. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I would say, I would say so. Yeah. I, I think I would stick with a, um, a four two five, uh, formation here. Okay. Um, so Hamilton and Kanye is my, my, my two DTs. I got the talented Edric Houston freshman. And uh, the experienced JT Tuimilau on my ends here. Then also have a uh, Carter as well to to rotate in for for Houston there. Sony Styles and Cody Simon as my linebackers, and I also have a uh, Will Smith Jr. to to fill in as well on the defensive line as well. And then my secondary, I have Jermaine Matthews and Simpson Hunt. As my corners, Styles as my nickelback, Bonsu, Hawkins, and Aaron Scott as my safeties. Interesting. You're putting Aaron Scott at safety. Oh, well, Aaron Scott to fill in safety, corner. Do, uh, do, do it, uh, do it all there. defensive back. Yeah. Yeah, you have, you have Carter to play safety as well. I mean, you didn't get the starting lineup at, at defensive back that I have, but you know, having Carter and Scott to rotate in is certainly helpful. Mm -hmm. Uh, My starting lineup is defensive tackle Tyleek Williams, defensive ends, Jack Sawyer and Caden Curry linebackers, CJ Hicks and Gabe powers uh, cornerbacks, Denzel Burke and Davison Igmanosan uh, Nickelback is Jordan Hancock safety Caleb Downs and safety Malik Hartford Kyle and I both consider ransom to be injured and not playing in the spring game this is why he was not picked um, my backups or my 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 four open spots uh, Kenyatta Jackson at defensive end Caden McDonald at defensive tackle Avril Reese at linebacker and Tywin Malone an additional defensive tackle um, I, I, I expect to be going a lot of odd, weird fronts, um, is, is sort of how I see things. So I would say most of the time, however, it's going to be a four, two, five, like what you're running. Um, 
But I also see situations in which I could bump Caden Curry into defensive tackle. Um, you know, sort of Ty Leak at nose. Caden Curry could bump in and play three tech defensive tackle. And I still have Kenyatta Jackson as sort of a more of a rush package. Um, mm-hmm. But, uh, you know, maybe in more against the. Of course, if I'm playing you, which is what's happening, then I might want to go uh, more with that rush package as opposed to my run stopping package, which would be Tywin Malone coming in. But if I'm playing you and that's what I'm doing in this situation, if I'm playing you, then I'm probably I might bump Caden Curry in the defensive tackle and have Kenyatta Jackson play defensive end because I feel like I'm going to be. I feel like I need to get to your quarterback with all of your wide receivers. I feel I feel like I need yep. to get to your quarterback. Yeah. Yeah, I, I feel like I'd have I'd have even even with. Even with how my defense is stacked up here, I feel very comfortable with my my defensive backs covering your 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 outside threats here, and I feel that my my front seven here or front six really the front six can really get after you with the uh, with listen, not as talented offensive line as we, mine is. Uh, listen, we we both have. Let's be honest. <laughs> We both have some pretty severe offensive line issues. If we're being real about this, now do I have I mean, worse? We, 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 we all we, we took out Simmons. We took yeah. out Fryer. We took out Jackson. <laughs> we didn't take out. You know, you got Fryer. I got Fryer. Sorry. Yes, I got Fryer. Sorry. Yeah, we took we, out Jackson. This, this was not a, a deep offense. First off, no one has ten starting offensive linemen. Like no one does. Uh, then add in the fact that we took two of the we took two I, I would say Ohio State's two best defensive or excuse me two best offensive linemen off the board because we both had them locked. Add in on top of that that Ohio State is just not even all that deep at offensive line to begin with. You add those three factors in, and like neither of us have a great offensive line. Yours is better. Uh, I acknowledge your your offensive line's better, but I feel I feel, I feel pretty comfortable with with uh, not having your your two arguably your two best offensive linemen off the board. I, I feel very comfortable. Feel very I feel very good about my my offensive line. Listen, neither of our offensive lines are going to hold up against either of our defensive lines. If we're be if we're if we're be if this is the spring game and if we're both playing hard, no one's sco- like th- this is this is going to be a this is going to be a low scoring affair, I, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. This is going to be a very low scoring affair, Kyle. All right. Now, this brings us to the question and we want people to let us know who wins this game. You've seen, we've talked about it. You see the teams. Let us know in the Discord server. Let us know in the YouTube comments. We want, we, we want to hear your voice. We want to know what you think. Who, who wins the spring game? Of these two teams, who wins the spring game? And I once again want to say, Kyle, offensive line aside. Like, like if we... Off, it's just offensive line aside. Either of these teams could win the Big Ten. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. I think either of these teams, offensive line aside, either of these teams could win the Big Ten. I I swear I I I believe that. And I say could, not not would, could. Either of these teams could win the Big Ten. And there's also depth issues, but that's, 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 Mm -hmm. that's a given. But if we're talking like starting 11 plus three backups, we turn injuries off. Either of these teams could win the big 10. I 100% believe that offensive line aside, offensive line aside, Kyle, that's it. That's, that's our spring game fantasy draft. I, 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 this I, I always find this this fun whenever we do this. Um, but 
unfortunately, Kyle, that's that's the end of the episode. Um, do you have anything in Kyle's corner this week? Um, I mentioned Will Smith Jr. losing his uh his black stripe uh, earlier here, so he's the he's the latest to have it uh, removed, as well as uh your your tight end here. Uh, well, uh, Will uh, Kamark as well has his uh, black stripe removed too. So we are down to four, six, eight, eight players with their their black stripes removed. I, I have a feeling we're going to see a handful more this week. Here would be my guess, but we'll we'll see. But other than that, not. Oh, actually, a big one, Jared. Big. Okay, this big is one. actually big. big. Big one. Big, 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 big. I have big. no idea what you're talking about. Big. The OHSA lifted the seven on seven restrictions. Okay, in the state that. Of Ohio. Hold on, time out. That actually is or for Ohio athletes. That actually That's is huge. That is act. That actually is huge. Um, do you want to explain what that means exactly? Yeah, like OHSA, the OHSAA for dumb reasons or really no reasons at all where they pretty much restrict Ohio athletes from being able to do any extra uh, football uh, practices or any kind of competitions outside of their fall camps and um, and just fall games as high school athletes here. They've now uh, permitted a seven on seven competitions anytime before or after uh, high school athletic football season with a with a 28 day no contact window after their prep season ends. So pretty much spring like springtime is perfect for for these uh, football players uh, to be able to or heck even even right after the June, like even June would be a good time too to be able to. Um, to be able to do these uh, 707 competitions. So one thing that Jared and I have talked about for many, many years is when we're looking at recruits and that Ohio players, maybe not so much slow to develop, but they don't get as much national uh, attention because yeah, they can't really get their name out there until really when they show up on Friday nights here and then play and then, Everybody notices it from there. So getting their names out there, being able to do these extra competitions here, good good for all of the uh, Ohio football athletes. Yeah, it's it's honestly huge. Um, if for no other reason than, as, as Kyle pointed out, just to get players' names out there because they haven't been able to – Ohio players have not been able to participate in camps – and not been able to participate in seven on sevens, which has really hurt their ability to be seen by your 24 sevens and your on threes and, and whoever else to get their name out there and to be seen and to be scouted. And so, yeah, it's, it's huge. It's, it's, and, and it's the, OHSAA has held back Ohio football players for a long time. Uh, not to mention opening up seven on sevens. Oh, by the way, just makes players better. It's just more football. Yep. Uh, aside yep. from just the scouting aspect of it, it will just make yeah. the players better. So this is, this is, this affects just everybody who's not on the line here. So they still, they still can't do any kind of um, hitting during right. the off season here. So it's just seven on seven. So this is just going to help with everybody who's not on the line. But that, 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 that catches Ohio up to what Georgia and Florida and Texas and California have been doing almost everybody else for decades. Yeah. It's about damn time. Yeah. It's, and by, and by the way, um, it's specifically thanks to, I mean, I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm giving a lot. It's of McNutt. Yeah. It, McNutt's it, it, been the one who's, who's yeah. been really 
advocating Trey, uh, this change. Well, Trey McNutt said, I'm playing seven on seven this year uh, out of state. Yeah. But he says, I'm playing seven on seven this year. And Ohio High School Athletic Association's like, well, then you're not going to be able to. And he said, bring it. Like, OK, suspend me. I dare you. <laughs> he called their bluff and he won. Good for him. Yep. Uh, Trey McNutt, not officially a part of Ohio State's recruiting class yet, but we feel good about it. Yes. We feel good about it. Yep. All right. But that's it. That's all I got here, Jared. All right. Uh, tonight's ending music brought to you by a band out of Cincinnati called Saving Escape. Um, they just released this song like two weeks ago. It's called What I Can't Have, or at least they released the video a couple of weeks ago. Um, but once again, this is Saving Escape. So with all that being said, I'd like to encourage everyone to drink local beer, listen to local music, and of course, support your local podcasters. Once, you get, once again, this is Saving Escape.